Where do we travel now? Out of this yurt, over seas and oceans to find our way into a place into a place. for hours and hours and hours and honestly everybody he's not good at it he's really not good at hunting he tries and he tries and he tries but he only ever gets a little mouse or a bird he never brings any ox or elk or deer or bear and his dad his dad is really not impressed his dad really wants him to bring home a bear his dad wants nothing more than for his son to be an incredible hunter. And he is so disappointed at his son for being such a shoddy shot. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it gets in his dad's mind and every day the boy comes back with nothing, with a little mouse and one day he comes home after this long day. And he's really tried, you know, he's really tried. He walks around that forest and he's like, I'm really gonna try and he's trying and he's exhausted. When you try and you try and you try and you just can't, can't do it. I know what it's like. I kind of hope you don't know what it's like, but I think it's a part of being human. So he comes back home and his father looks at him and says, You have come again with nothing. You've not even brought a mouse this time. I have had it up to here with you. You are no son of mine. How can I have you as my son? I am the chief. You are supposed to take care of us. I need you to leave shuts his son out, tells him to leave. And so his son, this young hunter, gathers his bow and arrow and he leaves. And he walks and he walks and he walks and he has absolutely no idea where he's going. And it's cold, you know, it's, it's winter and it's cold and he's afraid, he's only young, you know. He doesn't know how to kill, he doesn't know how he will live and he walks and he walks over the lava fields and he walks and he walks and then a wind begins to blow. And a storm begins to come. And he's afraid, he's really afraid, he doesn't know what to do and there's this big tree. And so he goes up to the big tree and he sits and he waits and he waits and the storm is he looks up and he can see in the distance a huge mountain a huge mountain with a snowy peak and he looks up and he's got really good eyesight and as he looks he sees there's a pole at the top of that mountain and it looks like there's something glowing and he thinks well maybe I can go up there maybe there'll be somebody there maybe there's humans there and maybe they'll come maybe they'll come and so he gets up and he gets ready and he goes to the bottom of the mountain and he climbs that mountain step by step he climbs and it's a hard climb and he's sweating and it starts to wind again there's the rain and he keeps going nothing will stop him now because there's nowhere to go he can't go backwards he has to go forward he has to go up and he goes up and up to the top of that mountain and there he sees on that pole is a deer skin but somebody does live and he looks and there's a hole in the mountainside and there's smoke rising. And he thinks, there's definitely somebody living down there. I'm gonna go in. And he's afraid. But he has this feeling of going in. So he goes down and it's dark and he goes down and he looks around and there's nobody there. And he carries on going into the next room 